Hello everybody and welcome to your 12th tutorial and um in this tutorial we're going to be learning about functions now functions can be a broad subject and for first time users it can be so very confusing so I'm going to divide this into a number of tutorials just to make this easier for you so you can learn to make the learning experience easier because some tutorials make functions into like one tutorial and for beginners it could be really hard now for you Java programmers out there uh, functions are exactly like methods it's just a different name for it I don't know why they gave it a different name but it's the same thing so you already know how to create methods it's basically the same thing so yeah so now we got that out of the way so now if you didn't know your main function is the function that's why it's called the main function but the reason this function is the most special function in the programming language because everything goes to main like you need to name this main or it won't work there um everything that every program you read it will not run unless something's in main so you can you can make your own function but it will not run unless you put it in main to run so notice how our main is an integer we could name this void main but it's called int main and because the integer it returns a value and the value 0 means it returns successfully so any function you can name it int you can name it double you can name it bool you can name it char or you can name it void or any other type identifier name right so basically if it's an integer if you return a value you have to return um, like I don't know zero if it was double you'd have to return 0, 0.0 if it was bool you have to return um, true or false if it's a char you'd have to return a string or a variable name or something and if it's void you return no value now void the most common one you the most common one you'll probably use is void and void means you just don't return a value you just allow the function to do something so like if you want um your say you're making a game and you want your character to walk you don't really need to return a value for the character to walk you just want in that function when it actually that function you make that character walk but say you're calculating health or something then you would probably use an integer or a double function to calculate the health so you would return the health value so this kind of sounds confusing to you I know so instead of me talking the whole time I'm going to actually show you how to create a function so we're gonna declare a function above main to, and it's gonna be a global function the reason why it's global is because it's not inside any function it's just outside a function that means any other function can use it or any other thing can use it in the program so we're gonna add two numbers together so we're gonna name this function addition and we're gonna end it with a semicolon now we could define what goes on in the addition um, function right here but we're not going to we're gonna declare it out here and define what it does below so when you after you declare it below the main function we're gonna declare what it does so we're gonna put addition and make sure there's nothing in here we're gonna learn about how to put values and parameters in the other tutorials so now we're gonna make a variable called int answer equals 3 plus 5 and note we're gonna return answer return answer now what this does it's answer is equal to 3 plus 5 and it says return answer so the return value basically makes the value of the function so once this function activates 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 so in this value the value of the function is gonna be equal to 8 so now let's put in our main function just to prove it so since it's global, it's not like we have to do anything. We just use it. Just like if you made a um a variable called answer out here, it's a global variable. That means any function can use it. So let's put co addition and l. And let's run this program. And you see the answer is eight. So we could took answer 3 plus 5 
and I returned what was 3 plus 5 which is 8 and then put in the, in the addition function and now we ran it it said 8 right so as I said there's different ways to do stuff in programming so let's make let's put in a variable so we're gonna make this variable answer and the reason why you don't get a, a, um, an error because this is called answer also and this is called answer is because they're local variables and local means within the function or within a class when we learn about classes and stuff so since it's local this variable answer only exists within this function so anything without outside this function answer doesn't exist anymore it just like disappears into space or whatever you want to say so in this main function when you declare answer this variable answer only exists in this function so now when you go to this addition function this answer doesn't exist anymore I know it sounds kind of confusing but you'll understand it later on so now we're gonna put answer is equal to addition so instead of putting it in the C out function we put it like that then we put C out we're gonna put answer and L and we run this program we get the same result 8 and this is all I'm going to show you for now practice that because the next tutorial is going to build on this and it's going to be a bit harder so just practice it because functions are very important I can't stress enough how important functions are so practice hard and Hope you get good at it. And if any of you are interested in game programming, you will definitely need functions. You need functions in any program you make. So just keep trying and ask me any questions if you have any. So thanks for watching and bye.